Welcome to my pod. I would like to talk to you about the China war and uh, Taiwan and USA and what is going on in the geopolitical world of today. We can see that Ukraine is being taken almost by Russia and uh, we know that China would like to take Taiwan or they see Taiwan as a part of China. They don't see Taiwan as an independent state. Now what is happening is that the House Speaker of the United States, Nancy Pelosi, is maybe going to visit Taiwan. And this has caused a lot of issues in the geopolitical world. And you can see that uh, the Chinese want to send military there if Nancy Pelosi comes. Joe Biden told uh, Nancy Pelosi that this is not a good idea. But I wonder why it's not a good idea. If Taiwan sees itself as a sovereign country, then the House Speaker should be able to go there. So I know that uh, Taiwan has a strategic importance like Gotland has for Sweden to Russia, the island Gotland that is in the Baltic Sea. I know that uh, Taiwan uh, will do problems for China if USA gets a hold of Taiwan, which they have already. They are in talks with Taiwan. They've been in the in the sea over there before and show their powers, the USA, I mean. So what is important is that uh, if Nancy Pelosi wants to go there, she should go. Because, uh, let me just be honest, war has to happen. <laughs> it sounds crazy. You can try to, to uh, say that you don't want it to happen. Of course you don't want it to happen, but it has to happen. You have too much, you have two different sides that are at war at each other in all areas. You have the Chinese and the BRICS building up their nations and they are trying to de-dollarize the United States and they are going into rare earth metals to back their currency with and stuff like that. And then you have United States, the old empire with Britain and France and the Euros trying to hold power. And Russia apparently don't like it. China apparently don't like it. And many other nations apparently don't like it. You can see the Saudis they are taking step back from United States. You can hear that since Biden came to power, there's been talking about the Katsoji murder that they say that the Saudis did. And this has uh, like uh, caused a lot of problems in the oil, oil business. So now United States needs more oil. Of course, you know, there's always Africa. Africa has a lot of oil, have a lot of gas, minerals and stuff. But the problem is that Africa now start to see its own power. They start to see their own worth. And many of the Western nations are backing down. But that is because of the help of China and now Russia that went to Africa recently. So the Africans are, are feeling their own power and they know more now their own worth. They know that they have minerals and diamonds and gold and a lot of stuff that the West needs. They don't want it, they need it to have their business going. So the only problem Africa has is France. They have to get rid of France. Some countries like Mali, 
are doing it. They are throwing out the French. But back to Nancy Pelosi and uh, Taiwan. What is important is that I think Nancy Pelosi should go to Taiwan. If China will send military, let them send military, which I think that they will not, because that will cause a type of big, big, big conflict. And uh, what is more important is that I think now when Joe Biden is sitting, that there will be a huge conflict between uh, between uh, Taiwan and China and America will pull in. This has been brewing for a long time. This has been going on for a long time. And uh, Taiwan don't want to be another Hong Kong. Hong Kong thought that China would come and save them, but China said, no, you're part of us. But this is because of Taiwan has this strategic point that is outside China, that uh, if the Americans uh, launch from there, if there's a war, there will be huge problems for China. China will be isolated from the sea. And they need the sea for their Belt and Road and stuff like that that is happening. What is more important is that uh, Russia and China has been working very close. They just uh, like uh, started to back their money up with minerals. Like uh, Gaddafi wanted to back his oil with gold and they didn't like that. He, he didn't want to buy the dollar. He didn't want to take the dollar. He wanted gold. So the world is changing. I mean, it's really, really, really changing and it's going fast. You can see it all over. Europe is cutting gas with 80%, 85% towards Russia. And uh, Russia is making more money now than they did before. They're making a billion a day on oil. The Saudis are buying cheap oil from Russia because Russia has lowered the price on oil. So everything is changing and uh, it's important to know that uh, if this will continue, we don't know where it will end. But I think that the world leaders are so mad out of their mind. So they will continue going. Because if you look at the gas situation in Russia, you see that uh, the, the EU is uh, cutting down gas supplies to the, Russia, to the uh, European Union countries. People will, will not have any food, they will not have any money, they will not have heat, because everything has gone up so high. So what are they thinking? How, how will this solve this solution? I mean, there are some countries like Norway, they have their own gas. They don't need to think, uh, think about this. They're not a part of the European Union. They're part of NATO, but they're not, they're not a part of the, the Union. They will be fine. They have their oil and they have their gas and stuff like that. But the other European countries like Hungary, Italy, Spain, all of these countries, they will have huge problems, huge, huge problems. So the world is changing as we know it in many, many areas. It's not just politics or uh, stuff like that. It's changing in many areas. And it's important to know that, you know, you have to stay put now. You have to stay put and watch the show because it's gonna be explosive. Um, I'm sure of it, you know. Nobody thought that Russia would invade Ukraine. Look at the war, it's been going on for four or five months now. And USA hasn't done nothing. They've just sent, sent arms. To me, if I would be in war with somebody and somebody else give my opponent war, I would be in war with them too. That's just me. <laughs> but. There are many countries that are sending weapons to Ukraine. There are many, uh, they are sending money to Ukraine. They are trying to build up Ukraine. And Zelensky, 
the Ukrainian president should just step down because too much people are dying for for him to be president because it's is uh, is it's obvious that Putin has something against Zelensky. So, you know, Zelensky should rethink his position. He's a dangerous man, I think. He should not be in that position. So, but Nancy Pelosi will probably go to Taiwan in August, and uh, this will cause, this will be a chess play between USA and China. Now, this is where the real war breaks out. This is where Biden will show his strength, the American might, or they will fall down to a new empire rising. You know, it's standing between that. I heard that CNN and BBC has talked about it and many other channels, Al, Al Jazeera and stuff like that. They've been talking about Nancy Pelosi going to the United States. And from what I heard, CNN said that uh, they don't want China to flex their muscles the way they are flexing their muscles. And that uh, it should be, America should do something. And uh, it's obvious that China has been uh, investing in military. Everybody knows it. And China has been saving up money. They've been working towards AI. They've been working towards uh, getting uh, a lot in their defense system. But nobody puts in more money than USA. We all know that. So my question is, is China ready? Is China and Russia ready? I, I can say that. Is China and Russia ready to face USA? This is what is what is happening. It's a big fight. It's a big fight. And for people who like to look at geopolitics and stuff like that, this is interesting, you know. And uh, the Eurozone, what will they do, the Euro people? Will they join or will they go wave pride, pride flags? You never know. There's a lot of pride going on in Europe. So I hope that uh, if they want to make a war, if these world leaders want to make a war, make a war. Just do it so it's over. So people who will go will go and people who will not go will not go. You know, it's easier than to just sit and wait and play cat and mouse and front and back. We all know that people want want to be recognized for their powers and the militaries and stuff like that. So let it be known then, let it, let it just go. It's just easier. I don't know if people say that I'm mad or crazy or stuff like that because I think so. I'm just fed up with the game. It's been, it's been a game for so long. So now you just, you know that it's gonna go down. Let it just go down. Let them just show their powers and let it be. Of course, we don't want war. We want our children to grow up nicely and have a good work and houses and grandchildren and stuff like that. Of course, we want that. But the situation is the way it is. Look at Ukraine. Look at Europe. There's war in Europe 2022. Look at what is happening. You can see that some of these people is out of their mind. So be it. If they want war, let it be war. It's easier. So the news can report about war because that's the only thing they report. Zelensky is on TV. He's, he's more famous than a Hollywood movie star now. So, but I think Nancy Pelosi will go to Taiwan. I think she has the balls to do it. I think that Joe Biden will support her in that opposition of going, in that position of going to Taiwan. So it has begun in my eyes. We just want to know where the first bullet will be fired from. 
Chinese military, they are serious. American military are serious. America has a lot of uh, stations around the world. So America has been ready. They've been ready for a long time. My question is, is China ready? Is Russia? Russia is ready. But can Russia take another war now with, with the war in Ukraine? This is what is important to know. And uh, what's more interesting is what will the Eurozone do? Will they just sit and f uh, freeze without u gas in the winter? Or will they start gathering soldiers and send them out to war? And one more thing that is very uh, interesting to me, we live in the Eurozone. We talk, you know, like European languages. But I don't understand why the leaders are talking English. In <laughs> I don't understand that. It's, uh, it's Euro, not UK or United States. They should speak French or Swedish or German or something like that. But they speak English. Okay, they can say that English is a international language and many people speak it. But you you could think one more time about that. So I'll leave it at that.